Welcome back to ETF.com Live, the video edition. My name is Dave Nottig, Managing Director here at ETF.com. Question today was about robo-advisors, those automatic, automated investing platforms that you can now seemingly get absolutely anywhere. You can get them from firms like Wealthfront and Betterment that sort of pioneered this concept. You can also go to your broker, Schwab, Vanguard, folks like that, and they have robo-advice platforms too. The question is, how do you evaluate these things? How do you compare? I think it's important not to look at these as performance questions. Every one of these robo-advisors is going to put together a pretty plain vanilla portfolio for you, generally using ETFs somewhere between, say, five and 10 ETFs to give you a balanced exposure that's gonna have some stocks, some bonds, maybe a little hard assets, maybe a little bit of commodities exposure, uh, definitely going to have some international exposure based on either your age or your expressed preferences about risk. So what questions should you be asking? I think the number one question you should be asking is, how is that robo-advisor getting paid for? The going rate for an automated investing program, if you did it at arm's length, is around a quarter of a percent or 25 basis points. So if you're paying less than that, for instance, in the Schwab program, which is technically free, ask yourself what you're paying for that you're not looking at. In the case of that Schwab portfolio, for example, they're going to keep you in a little bit more cash than you might be in otherwise. They get to earn a spread on that cash. They'll make more from investing it than they're going to credit your account. That's how they get paid. They're also gonna put you in house funds, as you would expect. So will Vanguard. Vanguard's not gonna put you in a bunch of Fidelity and iShares and State Street funds. They're going to use their house funds. Most of the time, those funds are gonna be great, they're gonna be low cost, but you should be asking that question. What is it that I'm not looking at? I think in general, automated investing programs have been great for the average investor who maybe doesn't have a multi-million dollar portfolio where they need the services of a in-person financial advisor on a regular basis. If all you're looking to do is put together a portfolio, keep it rebalanced, maybe adjust it a little bit over time, maybe do a little tax loss harvesting, I think there's some really great opportunities out there in the robo-advisor space. Just be careful and always know what you're buying. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.